Hey there, beautiful. Today's hair is brought to you by Amazon Supernova Hair Store. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this hair and also their direct store. They was kind of to send me their Brazilian curly in the lengths 14, 14, and a 16 inch lace frontal. They come in these clear plastic baggies with no odor. I think the curl pattern is so, so beautiful. I love curl patterns like this. That's just not too perfect. Right here is the frontal and that hairline. Ugh, it is a really straight, not plucked hairline. I'm definitely gonna go in and pluck that myself. Also, the knots on the lace frontal do not come bleached, but I went in and bleached it myself. Um, it was kind of stubborn, especially in the front, so it took about an hour to bleach. To wash my hair, I'm going to use the sexy hair sulfate free curly hair shampoo and conditioner but i'm just going to do a cold wash i'm going to take out that shampoo and just use the conditioner and later on i'll be using that camera spray you'll see so i took all the hair and i made it into a wig this is how it looks after i made it So now this is how I define my curls on a regular. So I'm just going to wash the hair. Like I said, I'm doing a cold wash. So I'm just going to use the conditioner. But first things first, you want to make sure the hair is like super saturated with water. Now that I have the conditioner all over the hair, I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and start from the ends of the wig and work my way up to the roots. This just helps detangle the hair and also separate the curls. When combing out the hair, I did ended up getting some shedding, but I'm not surprised because I plucked a lot of hair from the hairline and also around the crown area. Even though when making the wig, I did the fold over method at the top, I did cut some of my left. So this is how much shedding I got. Yes, to me, that's kind of a lot. So hopefully over time that stops. If you guys are interested in what comb I'm using, it's just a wide tooth Paul Mitchell comb. So after all that detangling, I'm just going to use warm water and wash the conditioner out now. So to dry the hair, I'm just going to squeeze out the water in place instead of squeezing it out and dragging all the water down because that will stretch the curls out and make it like frizzy and that's the last thing I'm trying to do. So now I'm just going to take the wig and place it on my block head. You could buy this block head on Amazon and I'm just going to take some T pins and pin the wig in place. While the hair is still wet, I'm going to take my Kenra Curl High Hold Spray Gel. This is just a curl setting spray. It's a very lightweight gel that goes on the hair without leaving the hair crunchy or sticky. And I'm just going to spray that on the hair. Now I'm going to take my paddle brush. This is a Paul Mitchell paddle brush. You can use any paddle brush you want. A paddle brush is a paddle brush, honestly. And I'm just going to brush out the hair. I'm just doing this because I don't want the curls to stick together and give like this really defined look. So that's just what I do.
after doing all that this is how the hair should be looking it's still damp it's starting to air dry and that's good i'm going to leave it to air dry but while it's still wet i'm going to go in and lay the baby hairs forward so when it dries it just naturally lays that way without putting all that gel to hold it down Hey, wig time so like i said before i took off the hair and i made it into a wig the front i use like this kind of zigzag scissor to cut it i learned this from tiara monette i actually see a big difference in that than when i cut it straight with some scissors but i'm just going to take the powder and i dab it on the hairline and also by the parting it doesn't make sense putting the powder all over the lace because i'm not going to use all that space of the lace like showing it or anything so now i'm just gonna Put it on my head. So I'm just going to leave the wig like this. I don't want to lay it down with any glue, gel, or tape or anything because I just want to show you guys how the curls look. And besides, anyway, it actually looks great without the tape or glue or anything laying it down. It looks really nice and natural. Not bad, not bad, not bad. But yeah, this is how I define my curls. Um... Right now, it looks a little bit poofy because I kind of shook it out with my fingers, but that's how I love it because it just looks so natural, like just natural on the go. When doing all this, I forgot to mention that I didn't get any tangling at all. No tangling at all, you guys. I am so in love with this wig that I made and the curl pattern is just so gorgeous to me. Love it. So whenever the time is right and I do wear this wig, a little bit more i'll be sure to give you guys a update i'll see you guys in the next video later you guys